Good evening and thank you for joining us for KLST News at 10. I'm Victor Glenn. San Angelo has recently been granted state funding to expand water extraction operations at the Hickory Aquifer. That funding is in the form of a loan with a 25-year term. We have all the details in this week's Our Water. Good evening and thanks for tuning in to KLSD News at 6. I'm Victor Glenn. Every year on the third week in October, schools across the country participate in Red Ribbon Week, a drug prevention awareness campaign. Grape Creek Elementary and Middle Schools participated in the campaign. Welcome back, everyone. The Grammys may have dominated the weekend entertainment-wise, but they were far from the only awards given out in Tinseltown. David Daniel catches us up in the Hollywood Minute. Engineers at the University of Texas have created a self-watering soil. They hope it could transform the ag industry by letting farmers grow crops with less water. Maggie Glenn has the details. It's time now for our first look at weather. Noel is live out at Fall Fest in Jim Bass Ford. Noel, how are things looking? Rodeo performances for this year's San Angelo Stock Show and Rodeo continue this evening. Carolyn is in the Pendleton Room with one of their champion bull riders. Carolyn? spray to make sure areas that were still smoldering would not spark another fire. Two San Angelo Fire Department firefighters received minor injuries after responding to that fire last night. Our Victor Glenn is at the Easy Pawn Shop tonight with the very latest on what's happening with the fire and investigation into how it started. Victor? Thank you, Carolyn. As you can see behind me, crews have put up fencing. That is both to protect the public as well as to keep scavengers out. I spoke with Assistant Fire Chief Todd Sanford earlier today about what caused that flare-up. They pulled down a piece of ceiling and it gave it just enough air. There was a concealed space and there was fire in there that was not emitting any heat, any smoke or anything. It was just smoldering. And when they opened up that space, it got just enough oxygen that the whole entire length of that building just erupted. After speaking with Sanford about the fire, I also had the opportunity to speak with him about the hydrant flushing that many people noted over the weekend. And I have that story for you now for this week's Our Water. Thank you, Carolyn. I'm here out front of SAPD for the Run with the Blue 5K and One Mile Walk Run. That's part of National Police Week. And I'm here with Angela, who is the Crime Stoppers coordinator, who's going to tell us a little bit more about the event. Angela? Hello. Uh, we do. We have the 5K run going on, the One Mile Walk. Uh, we still have registration open for about another 15 minutes. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, it's important to note during these kinds of events to stay hydrated, especially with summer coming up. And as part of staying hydrated, I've got a look at an upcoming water sanitation measure that's going into effect next month for this week's Our Water. Facebook CEO says he has already seen Russia and Iran trying to interfere in the 2020 election. Mark Zuckerberg says new security measures will target misinformation, including more prominent labels on posts that have false or partially false information. Facebook is also helping candidates monitor hacking threats. Ed O'Keefe has the full story. Thank you, Carolyn. I am here outside the Contra Valley Regional Food Bank with their executive director, Lee Pipkin. They're doing the USDA Farmers to Families Food Distribution. This is the one for July. They also have one coming up in August. Now, about how many families were you able to serve today with uh, the products that you got? We anticipated 300. The crowd has uh, grown, so we're trying. We'll probably do close to 400 families tonight by the time it's all over with. And with uh, COVID-19 obviously still a consideration, uh, what all steps, obviously masks, uh, you're doing a drive-through, what all steps have you taken to uh, keep people safe and distanced? Sure. What we're asking people is not to get out of their cars. Uh, we've got volunteers that will place the products in the cars for them. So it's as contactless as possible. As we saw earlier in the newscast, snowy weather was enjoyed by many across the Concho Valley, and we were inundated with your photos. Because we just couldn't get enough of the fun, we're going to take a look at a few more, this time of snowmen. First up, we have this multicolored offering from Levi, Ross, Jaron, and Luke. Next, we have this COVID-proof abominable snowman from Janet Payne at Park Plaza Nursing and Rehab. And then there's this little guy from Caitlin out in Coleman. We also have a look at this behemoth from Job Hickman and Steven Soto in San Angelo. And finally, from Duan Lee and Jay Ornalis, this feat of snowy engineering complete with boots. For more Winter Wonder, take a look at our gallery of images on Concho Valley homepage.
Thanks for tuning in to your KLST Weekend News at 6. We'll be back to keep you informed with more tonight at 10. For more on today's stories, visit ConchoValleyHomePage.com.